<laughs> we want to say hi. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do something a little bit different today. Um, instead of doing like a regular tutorial, I'm just going to have you guys get ready with me. I know the holidays are coming up and everything's kind of crazy and sporadic and busy and this will probably be the last video I post this week. Probably won't post another one until next Tuesday. So yeah, let's just get ready and chit chat and, you know. This is like my least favorite time of the year, honestly. I have um, never been a person who enjoys this time of year. I am. Um, it's just so stressful and there's so much to do and going on and especially this year it seems like it's even worse for me so I'm not exactly thrilled about this weekend and all of that plus I mean I don't have any plans I don't plan on doing anything for the holidays I don't plan on seeing anyone or going anywhere it's definitely gonna be a sit on my couch and binge watch a bunch of TV shows and movies and curl up with the cats kind of weekend. Nothing super exciting or crazy or anything like that. And what are you guys doing for the holidays? Any plans? Any? Yeah, I mean, even when I was a kid, it was still my uh, least favorite holiday of the year. I am very much more of a New Year's Eve kind of person. Um, New Year's Eve is one of my favorite holidays ever. I, um, I have this weird tradition that even if I don't go anywhere, I still do my hair and my makeup and I get really, really, really fancily dressed up because I am of mind that in order to start the year off right, you have to look your best. I didn't do that for 2016, and this year has been some of the best points of my life and some of the worst points of my life, so I'm also really superstitious, so maybe that's probably why this year kind of ended so poorly for me, coming in full circle. Hopefully next year will be better. Brian. Really grand. You know? What are you doing, princess? Yeah, I'm just getting ready today to go on a couple errands. Um, nothing super exciting. Oh, fades here. Um, just something really quick. So I'm not going to be doing like an intense out there look today. I kind of might actually just, uh, I'm gonna wear my glasses, so I don't know how all in I'm gonna go on my face today. You ever do that? Like you just sit down and uh, start doing your makeup with no idea in what direction you plan on going? Because I feel like I do that a lot. Turn that down. I don't want that to be too loud. I kind of want my face to be more natural too. I'm not going for super high glam, I'm just going for like, oh hey, I look like a human today. I love to watch um, YouTube videos while I do my makeup. Right now I'm watching the discussion for The Last of Us Part 2. I don't know if y'all know this, but I am like a nerd when it comes to video games. I love video games and The Last of Us was one of my favorite video games of all time. So when I found out that they were coming out with the second one, I had like a mini heart attack. Like, yay! I'm so in love with these characters and so invested in the story and that I just like, I can't wait. I can't wait to jump back into that world. It's a game that I've played probably ten times. Like, all the way through. Um, because I love it that much and I love the characters that much. It's just a great story and a great 
world to get immersed in. You know? When you need to get away from your real life. I am. Um, I'm very guilty of running to video games and books and movies when I don't want to uh, focus on what's going on around me in my real life. I'm notorious for uh, spending hours in the bathtub just reading and reading and reading and reading. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Take a hot bubble bath and just zone out. I'm actually uh, rereading The Hobbit right now because I was in the mood for some adventure and dwarves and I might reread Lord of the Rings. I don't know. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> when you say stuff like that, I'll, uh, you realize how much of a nerd you are. What are you doing, crazy? Thank you. That's fine. You want to be a nerd, be a nerd. Who cares? As long as it makes you happy, right? What are you doing? Uh, I actually, for TV shows, I just binge watched uh, The OA on Netflix, which I know was super, super, super like secret and hush hush, and they didn't start promoing it until last Monday and then released it last Friday, and I watched the whole thing, and it was so good. I am. Um, I'm amazed at how much I actually really liked that show, uh, to the point where I'm even thinking of watching it again, like all eight episodes again, it was that good. Because I feel like it's one of those shows that even though you saw it the first time, there's things that you might have missed and like little Easter eggs and secrets that you can definitely pick up watching it a second time. I don't know. I'm, I'm really thinking about it. It was that good. Um, actually trying to get my best friend to watch it so I have someone to talk to <laughs> about it. I'm one of those people that when there's something I really like, I really want to talk about it. And other than her, no one else that I really talk to has Netflix or would really be into that type of show. So I'm really hoping she watches it just so I have someone to discuss it with. Um, if you guys want to know what I'm actually doing on my face, I just used about four primers, which probably tell you what I'm doing. I used the NYX um, Photo Loving Primer, my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion for my eyes, and then the Smashbox, uh, what is this called? The Photo Finish Formulizing thing on my cheeks. And then I spray myself with the uh, Smashbox Primer Water because uh, I'm an oily person, even in the winter. So spraying myself with primer water before I put the foundation on I find helps um, my oiliness, 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 and then I just used my regular um, Too Faced Born This Way foundation and today I actually went for the Too Faced concealer, the Born This Way concealer, instead of my Tarte Sheep Tape concealer. No, how dare I, how dare I cheat on my Sheep Tape concealer, but I find, um, the Born This Way concealer is just looks a little more natural some days compared to the Shape Tape, which is way more full coverage and heavy. And since I'm gonna be wearing my glasses today, I just wanted to tone it down and take it easy. I uh, pulled out this holiday box from Mac that I bought a few years ago. It's a bunch of pigments and glitters, and I kind of uh, kind of want to use it. I don't really use it that much. So I'm going to start with a, oh god, a pigment called Kitschness. Like I said, I don't really have a plan, so well, see how this turns out. <laughs> Does anyone else like, get that fear when they open pigments that they're just going to spill it everywhere? I sometimes like have that major paranoia that no matter what I do, I'm just going to drop it and it's still everywhere and I'm going to cry. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take a, this pigment, which is like a, like a light purpley 
pink color. See? See what I mean? Go light purpley pink color and I'm going to take it on a flat packing brush and I'm trying to get, not get fallout over my face and just dab this on my lids. This cat is obsessed with me doing my makeup. Whenever I do my makeup, she has to be like either in my lap or right near me. I, uh, I like to joke that she's actually a person trapped in a cat's body. Because she loves to be, like when I do my hair or when I get dressed, her favorite like places to be are in my closet or watching me she'll just actually sit amongst all my shoes and my clothes and just like hang out there or um, even in here this chair is one of her favorite chairs to just chill on i think it's because it's where all the makeup is she's such a girl she is such a girl this is really shiny Woo! It's actually pretty shiny. <laughs> Alright, let's close this before I spill it everywhere. I feel like pigment is also one of those things that, like, I'm never gonna run out of this. It seems so tiny, but I'm just, I'm never gonna run out of it. Alright, let's take this dark purple. What's this one called? Push the edge. Let's push the edge with this one. Oh, that's actually a really pretty color. I don't know why I'm going for purples. Purple used to be like my least favorite color. I used to hate it. Um, I don't hate it so much anymore. I still hate green though. Green is just one of those ugh colors to me. Green and brown. Like, I never, ever, ever wear green or brown or. Truthfully, I really don't wear many colors other than black. The majority of my closet is black. <laughs> Try not to use too many like swiping motions, especially with pigments, because they definitely uh, can leave a fallouty mess on the face, which I don't feel like cleaning up. I'm really not in the mood to clean that up. See? Damn it! <sighs> oh, and another county heard from. That would be floof. I am. Um, crybaby. The cat is such a crybaby. Come on, buddy. He's like 20 pounds of just crying. Ow! Poke me in the butt. What a jerk. Let's take Bon Fresco from the Anastasia Modern Runners on palette to blend these out. It's purpley enough, but yeah, that'll work. I just feel like this year especially has been such a weird year for everyone and there's just so much going on and I know that like some years it seems like it's bad for some people like some like more so for some people than others but it just seems like this year was just awful for everyone and don't get me wrong, I had some like great points this year, but it certainly started on a sour note and ended on an even worse note, which is kind of disconcerting. Mm, very disheartening. It's very hard to, um, there we go. It's kind of like very hard to hold on and be hopeful and happy and cheerful when it seems like everything's going to hell. 
I mean, no matter where you look, it's just like, there's always something negative and something just upsetting. Like, I hate watching the news or even reading, I don't watch the news, I actually use Twitter to get all of my news and it just seems like it's so depressing. purples around your eyes, it kind of looks like a bit of a black eye, which, okay. not really that bothering, bothersome to me, to look like I have a black eye, but, you know, not a couple of people might look at me funny, so, to pop on some eyeliner, make it look less, I don't know, I just, I feel like this year, is the first time that, oh darn it, that I've seen like all of my friends go through it and everyone be so negative and down. It, it usually it happens to like one of us and it hits us in waves. Like one year it'll be one person, the next year it'll be another. And like we can really help each other through it. But this year it just seems like it hit all of us. Like back to back to back, something, just something, everything, something went wrong no matter what. And I mean, I know that this time of year for me, especially, has always been one of my worst. I, um, I get really depressed this time of year in general. Partly why I left Massachusetts. The, uh, the winters really uh, did a number on my emotions. And being in Georgia, that it's not as bad because it's still kind of warmer and the sun's still out especially this year where it's been in a drought all year but I still get that like tinge of depression and Christmas is just one of the most depressing holidays to me in general I, uh, I have a really hard time with Christmas I have a lot of bad memories associated with Christmas so going through everything that I'm going through right now kind of just like makes it all worse and um see floof agrees with me and just like really brings it out to the forefront can you stop that please yeah I don't know it's just something about this year this year was a uh, certainly one for the bugs. I'm uh, I'm sad that it's over in some senses because there was a lot of really great points this year and uh, I had a lot of really good memories and a lot of fun. But at the same time I'm like I'm ready for it to be over. I'm ready for things to uh, pick up and get better. I made that wing so much more thicker. Shit. I have no clue why it happens to me, but I always get like a runny nose when I do my eyeliner. Oh, goodness, that's annoying. What are you two doing? Yeah, I just, I want things to get better. And I don't mean like selfishly for things to get better for me. I just want things to get better for everyone. I'm, I'm sick of seeing everyone so stressed and down and I mean I've had not to get morbid but suicide's been 
a topic of discussion that's come up in a lot of my conversations with people and I mean I myself have mentioned it but I don't remember it ever being just so flippant to talk about and it, it just shows how how broken everyone is and how upset and kind of like beaten we all are by this year and everything that's going on in all of our lives. It's it's really hard to see and talk and just be kind of like trudging through it. I um I just I want something good to happen to everyone. It's just my browser. Got them out of their own today. I just want people I love to be happy again. And um, for all of us to not be so distant and so stressed that we can't just give each other a little boost of love and support and focus because that's really been happening a lot lately is everyone is just so wound up that it's hard to be there for other people and to let other people be there for you because you're so engrossed in it and so focused on everything that's happening that you kind of forget to be human and to appreciate the people who love you who you love at least that's what I've been noticing lately. <sighs> um, I used the, uh, I guess I should talk about, again, I keep forgetting that I should probably maybe tell you guys what products I'm using. Um, that pencil liner was the Urban, no, was the Ulta Gel Eyeliner Pencil in Blackout, which for eight dollars, that is a steal because it's so pigmented and so creamy and so soft. And like, if you want to blend out eyeliner, that is perfect. And then the liquid eyeliner was the uh, Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner. And then I used the uh, Anastasia Brow Definer and um, dark brown for my brows. And then I was my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. No, I really wasn't sure about this mascara when I first bought it. I was like, eh, we'll see if it's really as good as everyone says it is. It's actually pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm digging it. I, uh, I really do like this one for my bottom lashes. I mean, I have super long bottom lashes anyway, so any wand is kind of really easy to uh, apply a mascara down there. But this one, I'm taking it. Alrighty. Like I said, I'm wearing my glasses today, so I don't really care what my uh, eyes look like. And then I'm going to use my uh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I love this stuff. I don't feel like carving out my face super hardcore today, so I'm just gonna use an angled face brush and kind of bronze it up a little bit instead of fully contour. Just to add some definition back into my face. Make it a little more 3D again. Because I certainly feel that. Like, I remember being a kid and I'm not knowing anything about makeup. I mean, my mom, um, she doesn't wear makeup at all, like, at all. The most is maybe she'll wear lipstick, which is funny because she asks me, you know, how did you, how did you get so good at makeup? How did you, when did you fall in love with makeup? Because you certainly didn't get it from me. And, uh, she, she doesn't wear mascara. She doesn't, like I said, she literally will just maybe wear lipstick, maybe put powder on her face, but nothing to the point where, like, it does anything. I think she just kind of puts powder on her face because she feels like she has to. 
Sorry, Mom, if you're watching this. <laughs> but she doesn't do foundation or mascara or eyeliner or fill in her brows or anything like that. So I, as a kid, when I um, first started getting into makeup and I, I was like obsessed with um, wanting to play with like liquid foundation especially, I didn't know that one, you're supposed to set it. <sighs> who knew that? Like who knew that? And two, you're supposed to put stuff on it because if you don't have blush on, you look really strange. Yeah, again, didn't know that. I had no clue. I didn't know any of this. And I was, I remember, like, we would go to Walmart or the dollar store, and I would always be like, I just, can I get this lipstick? Can I, can I get this eyeshadow? I remember there was this purple cream eyeshadow that I wanted so bad that I never figured out, figured out how to use. I was like, I don't know, 10, 11, maybe. And I went to a Catholic school, so wearing makeup was kind of, yeah. you, you really weren't supposed to. They got really, like, upset if you came in wearing makeup, and I mean, they were mad at me already, because I would have my nails painted, and I would have, I had multiple piercings in my ears, and I was constantly in trouble, but not for, like, I don't know, I, um, uh, I was kind of a tomboy growing up, um, especially in elementary school because I all my friends were guys. I um, I was really torn between loving makeup and wanting to beat up boys and to play cops and robbers and play tag. And I was one of those girls that was forever falling down and hurting myself to the point where the nurse had to have a separate box of band-aids. And uh, like first aid just for me because I was constantly, constantly in the nurse's office. I would have to, um, like we had uniforms, so I would have to have like a change of clothes because all my uniforms would have holes in them because they'd fall down. So, anyways, and then like when I hit middle school, which is still the same school, but I started to really get more into makeup. And then in high school, I went to an all girls high school. So I really wanted to focus on being more girly, which people kind of laughed at because they were like, what's the point of doing your makeup and doing your hair and wearing high heels to school when there's no boys to oppress? And I'm like, oh, I like it. I want to do it because I like it. Oh, the blush I used was the NYX Ombre blush that I always use in Strictly Chic. And this is the... Uh, I want to know Jeffree Star's holiday colors in Sagittarius. Yeah. My mom still teases me. Well, how do you know how to do makeup so well? Oh. I don't know, Mom. It's kind of funny. Um, makeup was uh, one of those things that before I moved to Georgia, um, I had a really bad breakup, and I would just stay up in the middle of the night doing my makeup, taking it off, putting it back on, taking it off, putting it back on, just learning different techniques and trying different things and just playing around and exploring and it almost became like therapy. I have not been doing that lately. I probably should. I just... I don't know. Mm -hmm. oh, I guess we're gonna overdraw my lips today because I just did that there. This is a really pretty color. Hm. Um, yeah, I uh, have not been focusing on me, like I should be, probably. It's just been so hard to even get out of bed in the morning. You know those days where, like, doing anything is just, it feels so dreaming. This is definitely different for me. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot.
I'm gonna use my little itty bitty, my little itty bitty Urban Decay All Nighter Spotting Spray because my other one ran out. And I just got this one in my play box. Uh -huh. Do you love that when you get the things that you need? There we go. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, fine. Where are you in here? I also do that too, is that when things don't work, I'm notorious for emptying bottles into other bottles. Goodness. This that spray is really stuck. Wow. Well, I'm going to uh, finish my hair. I'm getting dressed and I will be right back. All right, guys. And that is the completed look. I know this wasn't a normal tutorial. It was more of a chit chat, get ready with me. And I just wanted to talk to you guys and get a little bit closer to y'all and hope y'all get a little bit closer to me. And I know this wasn't a typical tutorial. And now that I'm all ready to go out and run my very short, very few errands, just want to say that I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season, whatever holiday it is that you celebrate. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye.